Project SHARE recently opened a new satellite location in Chippewa. The expansion will help fill the need for emergency food here in the city of Niagara Falls. Pam, can you tell me a little bit about today's announcement? Yes, yeah, so we are here at our official grand opening of our Chippewa Satellite Site location, which is available for residents on Wednesdays from 1 to 6 p.m. It's an additional site where people who can come and access our emergency food program, making it more accessible for residents of the Chippewa community. Because of the increase in food insecurity in the last couple of years, did you feel that there was a, a need, a rush to put on a, a new location? Yes, absolutely. Our physical building capacity has been strained at our Stanley Avenue location. We have seen such an alarming increase of 97% in clients over the past two years alone. So uh, the current space is really uh, challenging to meet the needs. So uh, it was both a response to our clients' needs, making sure we're accessible, and also a way for us to help address some of our current capacity constraints. So how did you settle on the uh, Chippewa Presbyterian Church? We looked at a lot of things. We wanted to make sure that the location was accessible. Um, before we even came into the community, we did a bit of a survey meeting with different churches, community partners, um, trying to find out what exactly was available for residents of this community because we never want to duplicate an existing service. We always want to complement that. So we did a little bit of a, sco a scope first and tried to you know, figure out what was here. And then we made sure it was accessible. So we're on a transit route. Um, we looked at longevity. So what location could give us a partnership to start as a pilot site but if the need continues you know remain uh, having that service available and of course we looked at uh, expense as well so um, what would be a, a larger overhead versus what would uh, be a partnership that we could work with an existing space and we're so grateful for the support from Chippewa Presbyterian Church. The one thing that you mentioned before is that uh, the services that you, that you would find at the Stanley Avenue location is also available here in Chippewa and that really does mean full service. Yes, so we are doing the full service for emergency food and that's often what brings people in the door, but that opens up a conversation about what other supports they need to help meet their basic needs. So food's that immediate need, it's that feeling of hunger that they, you know, they want to address right away, but through that one-on-one -on -one conversation with our client support workers, we identify, you know, do they need more affordable housing? Uh, do they need help for their children going back to school? Do they want to register for a Christmas program? Maybe they're interested in having a plot at our community garden. So that one-on-one -on -one conversation helps to open up all of those um, opportunities and make sure that we're referring clients to all applicable programs, both at Project Share and out in the community as well. So let's talk about next steps for Project Share. We are almost at the end of October, which means that you're now starting to plan for your Christmas donation season. Yes, yeah, so this is our biggest fundraising time and this really will be the time where we know kind of how we're doing in terms of meeting the need in our community. We're spending a lot more on food purchasing lately. We are hoping to increase our gift cards that we're giving to families at Christmas this year to accommodate for the fact that food prices have significantly increased and we want to make sure that everybody has a holiday meal. So we're going to rely on our holiday campaign a lot this year. Um, so we're, we've already started planning, you know, we've got uh, our barrels starting to go out in the community already, getting ready for our Stuff the Bus Challenge, getting ready for our Good News Breakfast, which will be on December the 8th at the Greg Fruin Theatre. So we're, all these plans are coming together and before we know it, it'll be here. The need continues to grow at Project Share and you can help ease the strain by donating through their website or by placing non-perishable food items into the red bins across the city. In Niagara Falls reporting for The Source, I'm Lori Taraba.